let's talk high school. Now I know that probably the first question on everybody's mind is, can I do it? Can we actually homeschool through high school? The answer is no. <laughs> Not in your own strength. Homeschooling through high school is a marvelous opportunity to really exercise your faith in God and his grandeur. And from somebody who has been to the edge and back <laughs> with four high school graduates and even four college graduates now, I can tell you that God is faithful. And he is going to get your kids where he wants them to be. And a big shock to me is they can actually learn things after you're done homeschooling them, all right? So where we as moms seem to think that the senior year is the end of the road and whatever my child has is all they're ever going to have, it has been a revelation to me that my kids have gone off into the world. They love to learn, and they have learned how to learn by God's grace and faithfulness in our lives. And my son recently tried to bless me by mentioning, Mom, I think most of what I know now you did not teach me. <laughs> I'll tell you the other irony of homeschooling, and hopefully this will not diminish your effort in homeschooling, but the irony for us in homeschooling, or at least for me in homeschooling, is that those things that I put the greatest amount of effort and energy into turned out to be very insignificant in the terms of my children's future lives. And it was the serendipitous moments, it was the haphazard circumstances at the, at the time, that's how it felt to me, it was off-the-cuff decisions that actually have turned out to be pivotal in our kids' adult lives. So God's hand was at work um, in ways which he gets all the glory. And I can retain none for myself. And to tell you, uh, what we were just talking about, homeschooling, was as much for our benefit as it was for our kids' benefit. It grew me up as a Christian. And so I'm here today to celebrate the fact that God was made big and I was made much smaller <laughs> through our homeschooling endeavor, and I'm grateful for that. Because my kids figured out very quickly, you know, she doesn't really know what she's talking about. <laughs> So let me talk to you a little bit, though, about how we ended up homeschooling through high school. Because when I started out, I was really thinking this is just going to be K through 3 at the, at the outside. And then they're going into a traditional setting. But here we were, homeschooling, having a grand time, enjoying our homeschool friendships. And I realized, oh my word, my twins are in seventh grade. What's up ahead? High school and hopefully college acceptance, what am I going to do about that? So um, my sons had actually, unbeknownst to their dad, and I already taken matters into their own hands, and they had already realized, uh, oh my goodness, if we don't do something, she's going she's gonna to think she could maybe homeschool us through high school. So um, I was pursuing a uh, publishing contract for the Ultimate Guide to Homeschooling. This was back in 1997. Um, and it had been a two-year process that, uh, that ultimately ended up with me getting a contract from a Christian publisher. And I had gotten the contract in the mail that day, opened it up, and it was a contract asking me to write the ultimate guide to homeschooling <laughs> in six months. And I am standing there just processing, okay, I finally got the contract, and now they want to call it the ultimate guide to homeschooling. <laughs> and I'm just thinking, how in the world am I going to do that? And my twins enter the living room, and Mike says, Mom, Gabe and I want to talk to you. And I said, oh, okay, guys, what's up? And Mike said, we want to go to school next year. And I looked at the contract for the ultimate guide to homeschooling, and I looked at the twins, and I looked at the contract, and I looked at the twins. I said, great timing, guys. Well, what that initiated was a process in which my husband and I recon reconsidered our decision to homeschool all over again. And I think that this is a valuable exercise, and it was something that we did so that our, our sons could uh, feel that we were listening to their concerns and also to demonstrate for them how do we as believers figure out God's will for our lives. Well, first of all, we want to know, to know their reasons for going to school. They were very profound. They wanted to go for the hot lunch 
<laughs> the girls, and the glory of being popular. And when those three reasons failed to convince us, they said we could evangelize. <laughs> Also, they had already announced to all of their friends in the neighborhood and their coaches, because they were playing a lot of community sports, they were coming to school next year. So the, the forces were marshaled against us by the time my husband and I were notified that <laughs> a, major, a major shift in policy had taken place. Uh, so we began to go through the process of figuring out, can you actually do high school at home, especially if we're intending for our kids to go off to college um, at, as the end game for this process. And we sought counsel, we prayed, we studied the scriptures, and we involved our sons in this process. The first thing that we had to realize is that we as parents were the ones God was going to hold responsible for the decision. They were still under our care they were still eating our food, driving our cars, sleeping in our beds. So we realized that God might confirm this direction with our kids, but he was not going to reveal his will to them. It was going to come through dad and I. Um, so we asked them to pray for us as we went through this process. And at, at the end of actually reevaluating this, this decision all over again, we came to see that high school at home was... Um, primarily God's purpose for their life, but practically the best opportunity for them to remediate in areas where they needed remediation, accelerate in areas where they were ready to accelerate. We still saw the flexibility and opportunities uh, that were available to them, that they were not going to be available to them elsewhere. And uh, socially, they were going to have a great uh, set of friends who supported our values from families who were also modeling in their unique ways the Christian faith. And finally, we just felt that it was the best environment for their spiritual health. Uh, at this point in their lives, we were not confident uh, in their groundedness in the Christian faith. They were converted. We were confident of that. But in terms of Christian maturity, they were not ready to be launched yet. And we just did not see that there was another environment out there that was really going to support and nurture their growth in the Christian faith. I've always told our kids that we're not homeschooling you to protect you so much as we're doing it to prepare you. And I do believe in launching kids. My, my four kids did go on to, uh, to a secular university. All four of them did, but they all went as mature believers. We had a prolonged season of being able to see fruit in their lives, and they used their opportunities on campus to, uh, to engage in f relationship building that uh, drew others towards their Christian faith. And they remained strong. Uh, and spiritually prospered in that setting. So there was a time when it was time to launch, but high school wasn't yet that time for our sons. And our daughters never really asked uh, to change. They were really enjoying homeschooling at that, at that time. So we told our boys the conclusion we'd come to, and they were um, not really in agreement with, <laughs> God had not done the same work in their heart <laughs> at that time. Um, but um, we told them they could ask us questions. They were free to, um, you know, process this and uh, knew that we would give them some time just to adjust to, to the decision that Dad and I had made. And so there was a going back and forth for a few days, but, you know, in the end, I think because they had seen us go through a process and put that on display, and they knew that we were firm in our decision to continue to homeschool them, that brought peace into their lives. So by the first month of ninth grade, they were happy to be home. And we continued to uh, homeschool through high school. And they seized the opportunities that they had in uh, those years. And now, as adults, they can see God's hand in it. Mm -hmm.